The latest How to Train Your Dragon movie is now in theaters. And if you're thinking about taking the kids to see it, our box office mom, Jackie Solberg, is here with the scoop from a parent's perspective. Yes. But what's not to love about this I series? I know, and this is a popular series. Yeah. And in this one, Hiccup, the young Viking boy, actually now he's a young man, okay. in this third one, and Toothless, his dragon, um, you know, they're living in their Viking town in Burke, and a villain comes to town and wants to destroy all the dragons because it's the dragons and humans living together. Oh, so okay. they try to save the world from this villain. And we have a clip. <laughs> I've hunted every Night Fury, except yours. Hand him over. I will never give him up. Then I will destroy everything you love. Oh, gosh, it almost like breaks your heart to hear, you know, that dragon emotes so much emotion. I know. Well, you know, I and I will go through the contents, but I did interview some kids, and this supposedly, you know, they're saying this is the last one. Uh -huh. And um, they were sad, you yes. know, and just seeing that relationship with the dragon and the boy, it's so, it's just adorable. Yeah, and then it, he, and then the dragon gets a little girlfriend, right? Exactly, so for the different content, sexual content, I did put mild. <laughs> Was it dragon sexual content? <laughs> <laughs> it is really cute. Yes, he finds his girlfriend and they do like this little mating dance. Oh, and okay. It's, it's very, very cute. Um, yeah, I did put mild though. Okay. For sexual content. Um, Violent, I actually, actually did put moderate because there's a lot of battles okay. like with humans and dragons and you know for the younger kids mm -hmm. it could be a little scary but um so I did put moderate and then language you know just a few like insulting comments but nothing too much I put mild and drug and alcohol I there was none <laughs> when you looked around the audience and watched the kiddos watching it what was it what were the looks of the oh faces? adorable they loved it they were like at the edge of their seats and they were just so like emotionally involved in the movie because it's it's just so cute. They loved it. Um, like I said, I did interview two kids afterwards, and they loved it. They said they were sad. Mm -hmm. They were crying that this parts. Is the end. Yeah, yeah, that this is the end. And there's just some, I don't want to give anything away, but there are some emotional parts in the film. And, you know, they're saying this is the last one of the series. So, um, you know, since, it, since everybody is a little bit older in this movie, who would you yeah. recommend? Well, you know what? I put appropriate for kids ages seven and up, okay. depending on the child. But you know, the first one came out in 2010, the second one was 2014. So now this yeah. is the third one, but people that are fans of the other two will definitely love this. I mean, it, it's not as funny, but it's still very sweet, emotional, very family friendly movie. How many buckets did you give it? I gave it four and a half. <gasps> Four and a half. Mm, wow, yes. that's pretty Just good. Just took a little off for violence. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for reviewing this. This is a great little movie to go out I and know. see. I yeah. know. Yeah, and it'll be out on you know DVD. Like This is one that's going to be around for a long time, mm -hmm. whether you see it in the theater or DVD, and then even watching the whole series together. So. Yeah, for sure. Well, you can find more of Jackie's reviews on our website, 13onyourside.com. Have a great afternoon. Stay warm, and we will see you right back here tomorrow.